you found the Laid Off Lads podcast, where three average guys from Central Florida discuss anything but average topics and have all the time to do it. <laughs> uh, what is up, everybody? Welcome to the Laid Off Lads podcast, episode number 11. So we're moving into the uh, double digits even more so, I guess. Uh, with us, as always, Mr. Christopher Boyce, and he always fucking walks always. away from the pod. Always. We literally always. just started this. Literally put together like just a, not a blooper reel, but a, a reel of just Phil walking away from the pod, which no one will hear feel- on any of the, the pod platforms, but YouTube, once pod, Phil leaves. Yes. Like, you do realize this is an audio and visual podcast. <laughs> last week, he on a few times. Dude, I was tired last week. I, yeah. I've just been exhausted lately, and I'd have him again to sleep. So if I yawn on the pod, just just text me, stop yawning, and I'll I'll cover my mouth. Or I, I don't know, but okay. this time I, I had to get a beer. Well, we, that's what we usually do before pod. That's why I. But you again did not give a okay. We're gonna start. We're gonna hit record. You didn't do it again. No, you, you do it. You guys said okay, let's go. You said it. You said okay, let's go. I and it was quiet, and then, and then you right started to clap, side. which means you know what we're doing by me hitting record and having it to be silent. You know exactly what we're doing. Part of the setup process, you get your mic, you get your light, you get your thing set up, you get your get beers, your- you set them up. It's all part of the process. Or Jameson. Yeah, but I, I had a monster next to me, not a beer. I forgot. I at least, I fixed the yawning mm-hmm. problem by getting a monster. That's good. Thank you. Mom's a monster. Hey, oh. hey, all right. Listen, uh, I listen to this. Good for her. My, you're sweet. I love you. Linda. Good old Linda. Lisa. Lisa. Is that her name? <laughs> Try it out. Yeah. Samsonite. Damn it. Way off. That's way off. I knew it was L because you gave me your password to something. Oh, no. Yeah. Your password to something. And the logon was an Ellen Gary. So I thought. Well, you just going to sell me out now? Oh, wow. Why you just I give out my, my Who among us doesn't ever. share passwords? I've got like two of Ferris's. I had one it's of yours. I don't know what it was. Federal offense. Yeah. yeah How come you don't you contribute know, to that? Is on air. Well, every single pod, I incriminate either myself or someone else. So <laughs> every pod, a crime is revealed. Why don't you share anything? I did last week. I put. Gorilla glue into the keyholes of vans and killed people's grass. That's a harmless little prank. You're I'm saying a subscription, subscription based. You have something of Ferris's. You have mine. What did yeah. you give us? I don't know. I always offer it though. You do. You do. Well, your daughter but gave you me. Guys, you guys are more um, like we had talked about last week. You guys have more of those uh, subscription plans. So, in terms of quantity, you've got everything I have, but you have more than I have. So there's not much to share when you guys already have it and had it. You know what I mean? I think he's trying to say that us youngins are up with the apps and the subscriptions. And the old man on the pod is still with cable and direct TV and doesn't actually have those. Amazon. I have HBO Max. I've got the Showtime one. But that's about it. Go. Oh, I, now we're talking. Hey, I could have asked you for the freaking Showtime one when I was watching my documentary this week. Now we're talking. Free trial. I'll right, we'll share passwords one. after. And and a and, and HBO. All right. I just did, I just did the HBO one too. I was talking about Zack Snyder's Justice League. What the man? Because I thought you had it. No, I just bought it. Like oh, last... I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought you had it already. Mary deals with all those. I don't. I don't know. I'll make, I'll make a spreadsheet of what we need yes, and what we we're have. Gonna have to, right. Yes, we're going to have to. Split that it three way, somebody ways. can cancel something and save yourself ten bucks and do all of that until the feds come after us for. Is it really illegal? Eleven ninety nine a month. It is now. It's a federal offense. That's horse. I can. I'm not saying it's not. I'm saying it's just horse. Okay, moving on. I'm trying that sour that she bought, Ferris. Uh, that my sister that bought us? Butter? Oh yeah, yeah it's yeah. interesting. So yeah, thank you, Katie. Very, very good. Um, speaking of, we have a new um, a new segment on the pod. 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 I don't know why I went like English there? It's interesting, right, Phil? I don't know it, what to think of that. It tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in a beer. I don't like flavored beers that taste like things. 
That leaves a terrible aftertaste. Really? I didn't think so. Strictly IPA. Did you leave it in a hot car before you gave it to me? No. And literally, it was in my beer fridge, which is right to my left. I took it out of my beer fridge, came, came came to you. Literally, before we left to go to work, gave it to you. You ran in. You put it in the fridge, I'm assuming. And that was it. Okay. Um, anyways, we have a new segment on the pod. Pod. I don't know why I keep saying it that way. On the pad. pod. Pad. Called. Um, cool what? of the week. Cool of the week. Thank you, boys. For, I completely. I was about to say good of the week. I completely blanked on that. Cool of the week. Um, so just dead. Classifieds are, are dead. I mean, it, we can still incorporate jobs and, and stuff into that if we see any cool stuff that surround it. But there, oh, actually, I did see something about that. I saw on Lad Bible, um, which is a, uh, an Engl- a UK based um, news outlet, comedy outlet, those type of things, that there is a lady in the UK that gets paid three thousand pounds a week for selling her. F- videos of her farts wow the th- three thousand pounds which is like what i don't know 3500 35 3800 dollars here for selling her farts online it's like it's like the weird fetishes like feet pictures and shipping super. underwear and stuff dudes are creeps that is super weird that is wow not that, not that that's cool shit but it's interesting shit that I saw this week. And it involves shit, in theory. No pun intended, yeah. Well, now if you go to the UK, you get some part-time work. <laughs> For selling my farts. Get some Taco Bell and have at it. <laughs> you guys watch Letterkenny yet? No, but I... God. That's on Hulu, right? Yes. Do you have what is it? Hulu? Yeah. Okay, because I we have I it. be able to watch it. it. So I'm going to get it from you, and then I'm going to watch it. Okay. Cool. Great show. Well, don't, I have the, that whole, whole subscription package. It's the Hulu, ESPN Plus, and Disney Plus. Oh, we have Disney Plus too. We don't have ESPN my, Plus though. My login for oh, it works for all, all of it? that. Should work for all three. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Cool. Well, then, I, boys, I don't I already have it. But right. uh, Letter Kenny, there was a couple of a um, couple of beer folks that came in to Big Storm the other day that were from. Broken Strings, actually, that beer that you, you, you have now, Phil, that some of their sours are being named after um, things said in the show, Letter Kenny. I don't know which beer it's shows ever, man. Because I, have, I, I haven't seen it yet, but... One of my terrible. favorite shows ever. Watch the entire nine-season series three times. Nine? Yeah. How long are the episodes? Uh, 30 minutes. Oh, okay. So, like, yeah, quick, quick short. Yeah. Do you know what show I miss... It was on FX. Am I supposed to guess? Uh, well, you were, and same with Phil, but once again, he walked away. <sighs> Phil, man. This Phil. guy. Uh, the, the League on FX. Did you yes. ever see that? Did I? The League I, is awesome. The League is awesome, yes. Is that about the, the Fantasy League? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's Taco, a pretty old one, though, yeah. right? What's that? That's a pretty it old was, one. Uh, it was yeah, two thousand and nine. It was on the air for seven seasons, I guess. So oh, yeah, wow. it's a few years old now, I guess. But it's fantastic. I watched the first few seasons, yeah, yeah, a while ago. Yeah, mm. but the one thing I did see this past week, and as everybody knows, I'm big into documentaries. I'm having that same beer, Phil. Um, big into documentaries, and this past week I watched one on. Have you guys ever heard of this rapper? Called Takashi Six Nine. Yes, it's a little skittle boy. The dude's yeah. a little bitch, is what he is. He's a rat. He's a rat. He's a bitch. He's a woman beater. He's a complete head. But he makes way more money than all of us. Oh yes, and I don't. I cannot figure out how and why this is the case. But I. So I knew nothing about. This rapper never heard the name How? until because I don't know. I'm an old man. I don't know what it's you like want me saying. To say. You don't know who Nicki Minaj is or Cardi B. They all fall I into the same them, category. I have of just never heard of Takashi Six Nine. 
don't don't know don't know who he is. The only tattooed face rapper that I know is Post Malone. Posty. Love, Love him. Malone. I'm sure Love there's him. other Lil rappers Wayne. that I know. Little Wayne. Okay, true. I, I exactly. I'm you sure but so little yeah, Wayne. Have you heard little speaking Wayne. of Post Malone, they, there was talk about Post Malone read uh, Nirvana getting back together, but Post Malone being the singer. I could see it. Awesome. Awesome. Dude, dude's awesome. Smart choice. There's so many videos surfacing of Post Post Malone like back in his his early days, just like before start, before like the, his whole face tattoos and everything. And he's a great singer. He's a he, good he's guy. A he just artist. seems like an all around good, decent, like just fun loving guy with a soul red cup all the time and a smoke and just yep. just and super he, chill. And he seems like he he's a smart guy. He yeah. knows what what he's doing, how to do it, and he's figured it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. where this documentary mm -hmm. on Takashi Six Nine kind of shows how he kind of figured out something as well. Again, never heard of this guy, but all of a sudden he's on Billboard's top, you know, ten, and he number blah 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 blah. From it's the you know your story from like poverty in the Bronx to this that and the other, and he starts to kind of go up as a rapper, but he is backed and joins. The Bloods, mm -hmm. the gang, like the violent street gang, the Bloods, like it's a Trey, Trayway Bloods, which are like the original uh, faction of the Bloods based out of R R Rikers Island. And that's how like, anyway, they go into this whole thing, but he is then supported and backed by the Bloods and kind of then identifies as a gang member with them but he's getting like retweets and shares from like snoop dog cardi b like it, it, he's like yeah. blowing up but at the same time there's this other these all these other and i don't want to share like everything if you haven't seen it but like there's these other things that are happening that are gang related that are fights and shootings and kidnappings and like this sort of thing that he's involved in and it's this like tale of this dude's life over the course of four or five years and he's only 24 or five now so this is something along those lines 24. Yep. there you go from like 2016 17 until just this past year early 2020 where he was arrested a few times and finally the feds raided his place <laughs> That was because of underage sex, wasn't it? Like a video surface. No, no, let me, let me read. Arrested. Let me read real quick. The, okay. On okay. Wikipedia, Go ahead. under the legal issues, reliable source, the bullet points under legal issues, child sexual performance charges, choking mm -hmm. incident at shopping mall, robbery, assault, and kidnapping incident, chief Keith shooting, domestic violence, and alleged sexual assault, and the trial of nine Trey gangsters. Yeah, feuds. but no, all around you guys is, is kind of what you're saying. It's a feud with Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber, apparently. Oh, oh. I mean, that that was his entire thing. Is is he he almost made a lot of his money from starting these beasts with people, these feuds, and like every video, it's this little kid going suck my and he's just like it's just it's you're like what is wrong with you. I mean, but time out. That's most of that, that Gen that, Z right now. Right. That is most of Gen Z. But yet he's to he's get being, popular. Yes. But yet he's being protected by these actual Treyway gangsters, legitimate gangsters. And then when the feds come a knocking, if you're a gangster and you're part of that gangster life, it's kind of like La Cousin Ostra and the mob. You keep your mouth shut. Feds and cops come talking. You keep your mouth shut. You 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 take whatever's coming your way. You do the time. You are good. No, but how many years was he supposed to serve? 40, 45 years or something. Wow. And he's already out. out. Dimed them all out. He put how... eleven Treyway blood gangsters. That's there's not those aren't some those aren't people that I would want to betray. Puts didn't them, he go into witness protection? Oh, yeah. He's that? now he at second. He has four very large human beings walking around with him at all times and protecting him in some undisclosed suburban house somewhere. Yeah, how face tattoos removed and all that? 
What's that? Oh, I didn't know that. His face tattoos were removed. No, I didn't know that either. That because that didn't show it in the because there was the documentary that I watched was there was one on Hulu that was like an hour and a half long. It was good. No. And then I watched one on the newest Showtime one, which the last episode just aired in March. It's actually uh, parts of it are commentated by Giancarlo Esposito, the um, the bad guy in. Um, uh, uh, the and the DeLorean. The Showtime one is called Super Villain, the Making of Um Takashi Six Nine or something like that. But it's really interesting, and like this has all happened between a span of four or five years, and he's out now and turned federal witness and betray. <laughs> it's crazy story. <laughs> How has he not been whacked yet? Because he's because uh, he's he's w- 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 it's sick, and a lot of those guys aren't out of jail yet. Now the bloods, I'm sure, are there are other bloods still out there that want his head, but you got to a find out where he's at. B has the difference. balls to pull it off because he's protected by the government now. But and, that's the difference between some ratchet ass gang and like a mob, a mob or like. If you are part of a Russian mob or an Italian well, I mob or something a documentary like that, your ass about, is gone already. I watched a documentary about the guy with um, uh, the, the movie with Johnny Depp and uh, Al Pacino where he went undercover. Johnny Brasco. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Brasco, where the guy Sweeney who was in the mob who ratted everybody out went into yep. witness protection, but he still had a jonesing for the, the women and the drugs and everything. So he was out in the Midwest in some whole bunk area. But he still had women and coke, and they finally found him. The witness protection program said, "You know what? Screw you! You're not living up to what we're trying to do for you, so we're out." Um, but I think as long as you can abide by the the rules of witness protection, you should be okay. As long as you get which would be so tattoo. hard yeah, to do, so it's hard. One, yeah, it's one thing going into witness protection. If you saw a gruesome murder and you're a witness to that and the mob did it and you're just Joe Schmo down the block that wants to help somebody out and get this case solved, opposed to using the one of the most notorious gangs in the, in, in the U.S. for sure, if not the world, the Bloods, using them, friending them, using them for protection, using them to do your bidding in terms of fights and this, that, and the other. And then you you flip and you turn on them? I'm sorry. You, you, you are a piece of Which would be worse, though? The, the Bloods or the Crips turning against them or the Mafia? I'm not turning against any of them. If Well, one, I'm not joining any of them. <clears throat> but two, if I do join any of them, which I have no intent of doing that, I'm not going to at least turn on them. I but think the I'm mafia has so much... The mafia has way more resources. Yeah. I mean, even Higher through police and everything. Resources. Yes, Yes, correct. The Bloods, hell no. No one's going to connect with them and be like, oh, yeah, they, they don't have anyone in the force like working for them. This isn't like The Departed. Uh, n- nothing like that. You can't drive an El Camino into the suburbs of Kansas with your hydraulics. <laughs> And be subtle about trying to find a guy. True. Correct. <laughs> Valid point. I think it'd be cool if we send like the Navy SEALs after this kid. Like, let's see what he's really made of. Like, he literally is just such a little, like, he, he's that Gen X, like, just hey, doesn't no. want to do anything hard. Gen or, X, you're way off on that. Dude. What's the one that you said, Phil? Sorry. I'm Gen X. Gen Z. Gen, Gen, Gen Z. Y. We are Gen Y, right? That here we yeah. go. All right, so oh, hang on. I'll, you want to dip into to that? <clears throat> I want to know what the what the age ranges are. Let's dip a I'm little into for sure. So I, I actually I just had to do an assignment on this, and how this relates to my major or anything is beyond me. But it's finding a characteristic for each generation. So you have your matures, and matures are are seventy five uh, and plus. You have your baby boomers, which are 56 to 74. You have your Gen X, which are 40 to 55. So you are part of Gen X, correct, boys? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Then we, Ferris and I, are Gen Y, aka Millennials. That's 24 to 39. And then 23 and younger is Gen Z. Now, I've got a major problem with Gen Z. Oh, I here don't, it goes. You know, what's oh, the age I, range of that again? What's Gen Z? 23 and below. And below. I love that story. And younger. So again, this assignment, like you just had to find one characteristic for for each of them. And the second part of this was which is the generation that you cannot relate to and why. So obviously, like your your mature ones, I was like, they they were based off of respect. I mean, they respected everyone, they worked hard. Your baby for boomers the for the most part. Yes. Baby boomers, um, they were very um like work before play or you were what they like boomers they, got they, World War they II. earned everything to, through work correct correct your generation x valued family way more over work so then you had that transition of work before play but now it's more family oriented and then your gen x um i'm oh, sorry your gen y those were the ones that was a very technology minded um generation and i would say they had that great balance of work life balance to where they they valued hard work as well as spending time with your family and then comes gen z which i don't even know how to describe other than my one word that i put it's under that thing six nine was entitled <clears throat> that is the most entitled group i have ever seen now you you always have like your your certain ones based off of how you were raised and and whatnot but Gen Z, after I could say managing a lot of Gen Z, it is such built in their heads and drilled in their heads of work less, get paid more. And if they don't, they rebel. And if they rebel, they're going to rebel and collaborate and get together and just protest and, until they get what they want. They have no sense of value, of work hard, and just almost sounds like the hippies of the sixties though. It, 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 a bit. A bit it, yeah, it's bothersome. A bit. It's bothersome for me. It's but, insanely bothersome. But they had a true they had a cause. They're trying to stop the Vietnam War. They're trying to I don't know. The, the, the Everybody's got like, their own cause. It seems like what Phil's talking about is the cause is let's do less work, but I should be paid more dollar bills. It, like, not to that's mention, where social influencers came in for doing a TikTok video, sharing it, and now you're getting paid to do it, but you don't have any, you don't have a degree, you don't have any discernible skills, you don't have, you're not an actual actor, actress, musician, artist, you're a, you're selling your farts on the internet for 3000 a week. <laughs> she made it. But that and everyone gets a participation trophy. Everything has Ooh. to be, everything <laughs> has to be like, boys and I, if I do this, I this one time, yeah. if I do this, I need to be compensated via monetary value or I need a prize. Like everything has to have an incentive in order to get them to go above and beyond. It's no longer I go above and beyond. I deserve a promotion. Now it's I do bare minimum. I deserve some sort of incentive bothersome and i know this is gonna be a controversial topic and i man, when i was writing this freaking essay I, I was going off on it so hopefully my my professor sees the uh sees what i see and i'll let you know like what she responds back because she's an amazing professor and she, she'll always like getting into a debate or whatnot so I'm, I'm curious to see what she says on the issue yeah it's a touchy subject that's a tough oh, one that's a really oh, tough one it's a really I tough boys. One. I can see I can see wheels turning yeah. head of things that you want to say, but are trying to filter those things out. It's hard, way. man. It's hard. It's I, I don't have a filter anymore with that. Yeah, I ain't got no yeah. filter. I tend to poke. I, I I have a tendency to what I tell my daughter is poke the bear, and even my wife. I'm just like I like to say controversial. Shit. I'm a shock value person. I'll say shit just for shock value, just to get reactions from people, even if I don't believe it, just for fun. But so you uh, hold, hold on, I'm stopping you real quick there, real quick. So you have a you have a correlation to what I was talking about with Takashi Six Nine. His whole startup and his whole thing was shock value. But I know my audience. Well, <laughs> correct. You, for, you also have a lot yeah. more brains than this kid had Thank or you. has. 
but interesting. It's well, and, and I, I draw that point because it's waves of thinking, right? It's waves of thinking over a course of time from all these right. Gen Y, Gen Z, whatever. They are the thoughts are pretty much all the same, right? Mm-hmm. But then how those thoughts are executed throughout those generations, there's no for like boys, there's a little bit of guidelines there, right? There's a little bit of thoughts, there's a little bit more my thought of a repercussion to what I'm going to say. Or should I say that? There's that in your mind, good, bad, evil, going back and forth. Where now, there's not that. It's what'll get the most likes, what'll get the most e shares, what'll get the most this. Yeah, correct. Same thought. Same. Well, it's also same from a career standpoint. Value, what I've but, always done, I've been a, a a manager and a leader of people for a majority of my adulthood. So I think with that, when you spend forty plus hours a week with a filter. That sort of carries in into your overall life. You make friends, you make acquaintances, you make all sorts of connections within the group of people that you're leading. So even outside of work, inside of work, you still have to have this filter, which sucks. So all that pent up filtering, when you find the right audience that isn't attached to that and you can let loose and just have fun, it comes out like. Well, it's yeah, the same thing with politics and everything. And I'm not even going to dabble into politics, yeah. but you know who your audience is. I'm a firm believer of keep your to yourself. If it's, if it's going to be a controversial topic, especially like politics, don't bring that in the workplace. Don't bring it up at like a family dinner or, or a place where you know it's going to start shit. Don't post it out on social media. Keep that to yourself. Everybody yeah. has like their own opinion. Everyone is, is able to do their own research. Everyone has access to the same exact research. Your opinion, I'm going to respect. You've done the same research I have or maybe you haven't, but you're going to make an opinion based off what you have read and what you've done your research on. I'm going to respect it. I'm not going to badmouth anyone on what your political views are, on what you, who you voted for or anything like that. I love you as a person or I'm not going to like you as a person based off your character. It has nothing to do with voting. Yeah. And knowing that people are entrenched in their beliefs, my whole view is anybody who posts political stuff on Facebook or spouts it out and break areas or wherever they are, you're either looking for one of two things. You're looking for affirmation or confirmation. Cause you know that if I spout this out on social media, all my friends who think the same way as me, I'm going to get the likes. I'm going to get the comments of positive affirmation. But on the flip side, if you're posting that, knowing that there's people who don't have those beliefs, you're just looking for confrontation. You're not going to change anybody's point of view. Especially that's this what social age. media is all about. That's exactly what social media is all about. And social media has taken off. And and same thing with, with just influencers. Like, I'm going to go post a picture shirtless, jacked, and, and whatnot. They're expecting to have thousands of likes. They're expecting to have that confirmation of, I look good. So that way your head can continuously stay big and you can keep having your high ego. That's exactly what it all is in this younger generation. And it's, I don't get it. It's, uh, that, that's just me, but that, and what you just said, all like w- literally what you said and Boyce, you said, watch this documentary of this young man, I guess you can call him. And you tell me, you don't see a lot of that in this and that generation. And that's what it, it, it you see a lot of that where you're sitting back and, for me, same with boys, I, I've managed and I've led people for a majority of my adult career. And mm-hmm. I, I love so many different people because they're different and because of the different personalities that they are. But you also oh, learn a percent. lot. But you also learn a lot about people. And that's how you become to respect them. That's how you become to love them. It's how you become to understand them better. And we all have our opinions on, 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 you know, on that, but you see these trends of generations, you see these trends of personalities that there's a reason that Phil, what you just said of defining the age groups is not done by us. We don't define those age groups. Scientists, Smart people, sociology, or, you know, psychiatrists, whatever. Smart people. Smart people, exactly. <laughs> they're, they're the ones that came up with these terms and define these as being, like, you can now read about them in textbooks. Yeah. Now, you know, you don't believe everything that you read, but, I mean, that's, it, it has some merit to it. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's a debate that will span generations. Literally. Oh, I know. And I'm real curious to see what this... What's that? I'm Gen Z. I'm Gil- oh, uh, uh, Alpha Generation is after that. There he I'll is. look up a chart. Alpha. Yeah. Oh, uh, that, if that doesn't It's like the hurricane. It's like the hurricane chart thing. Once you start going through the Stone Age. Show, the Alpha Here we Atlantis. come. Look back to the Stone Age. Alpha Generation. Doesn't, They're like, automatically doesn't come out of the womb. Like the start, like the, the, the top, like the. It means like basically top dog. Right. So they're all, they're going to come out of the womb yeah. thinking they're f-ing Caesar coming out Stone like <laughs> and Leonidas coming out with a spear. Good God. Well, Tonight. it's like it's like the, the hurricane list where you go through A through Z. And once you pass A through Z, you go into the Greek alphabet. It's almost like that's what they're doing. Yeah, but we were so called millennials. Yeah, I don't, you're the only one that doesn't have, well, except for baby boomers well, well, slash well, me generation. Of, well, because you guys we, also have a name and a letter. Right, but we're the only generations that we that is probably still alive that lived through the shift of a century. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good point. So I could see why that is the case. I still just love how we pick up each other's mannerisms. <laughs> There's so many things that like Ferris used to do that I have picked up on. And then when we hang out, there's so many things that I do that I just see him doing. It just makes me it makes me smile. It's funny. It. It's funny. It's funny. It is. It's but really funny. It. Um, you know what else ties into all of that nonsense? Why? Moving on to what's the topic? Texting. Ooh. Texting. That is. Ooh. I'm a bad texter. And I've gotten <laughs> that feedback from numerous people. Numerous You're like the people. guy who puts a period at the end of every, every second. That's what everyone says. And well, I, I, it's just, it's how I, I correlate like, or translate in my brain to here. Like, okay, I completed my sentence period. Okay. I'm going to move on. Okay. I did that period. And everyone's like, dude, you seem like such a dick when you text. Like, Oh, I never got it's that. It's like if somebody problem. asked you, Hey Phil, are you coming to the brewery the tonight? And you could just respond. Yes. But you'll respond. Yes. Period. There's such a distinct I difference don't between know why I do it. Oh, I don't find a f- period fence to that. I I never thought that that was a yeah, so many people do. Is, has, as subtle as the period is, the period has a very strong impact on the context of it in the the vibe of a text. You can just write yes, you can write whatever you want, but when you put a period at the end, it's it's emphasizing a sentence in the same way an exclamation point does, but in the opposite way. Did it's I like it today. Yes. Period. I see, but really? I've been doing it. I, look, never, look, I never picked it up. Look at our you. group text. Jeez. I've been doing better with it. We I used to have said, a, Phil, you getting on a said, boss who did that. Yeah. And it drove me crazy to where you would text this boss something and you'd get a response from this boss. And there Is that who I'm thinking period. of right now? I don't know. It might be. But I'll you would get a period it. at the end. I'm not going to dabble into and it. There's such a huge difference between, and I would even tell this person, I said, hey, look at this text that you just sent me and show me how it comes across. And I said, if you said this without the period and how I perceive it, and this individual was like, whoa, you're right. And, and that's the thing. Like, I did the same exact thing to where someone brought it to my attention. I was like, like yeah, you're right. Like, so then I started using emojis a little bit more, but they're like mo- emojis is a little bit too young for you. And I'm like, what the, f- what the f- do you want? Like, so now I, I just type in like, yes, and not, not leave a period. I do my absolute best to be very I conscious of that. that. You wow. had one earlier oh, today. I, never I know that. I do. Yeah, you'll see it happen oh, like yeah. from time to time, but you can also see like me noticing it and me trying to like yeah. fix it. I'm a terrible texter. You are. I'm, You're I'm one of the douchier will... texters that I know. I never. Me. Here we go. Another reason why. I, <laughs> <up and shit. laughs> I love you, but I mean, I'll even call you on it. I'm like, dude. And you're like, yeah, oh, I know. Fine. I suck at texting. So I won't resp- I won't give you shit about it anymore because I know that you know that you're a shit texter. I'm like, all right, as long as he realizes it and accepts it, then there's not Except much that else I to accept say. It. I do my absolute best to try to fix it. I, I'm I just never... someone who's very proper and like I, I have to, especially like still being in college now, like everything has to be like formatted correctly and, and proper. And then you have to translate and like dumb yourself down just to text a message. Do you guys do one or two spaces after a period? I do one. Uh, Speaking I, of generations. Well, it, de- it depends on where I'm typing it and what platform, but I, it's ingrained in me to do two. Me too. And yeah, but how do they do that on a typewriter? Boys? That's changed. 
What do you mean? How did you want to type? Oh, I still do. Space? I still, if I'm typing oh, on a computer, <laughs> if I'm typing on a computer and or typewriter nowadays, it's two. Because when I was taught to type, it was two. Me if too. you didn't do two, it was tagged in the system or it was tagged on the scale to rate you that you didn't do two. And but nowadays typing, it's changed to one. And what I've right. seen on Twitter and other social media platforms is when you do two spaces and you're talking shit in the Twitter feed or something like that or comments, people will call you out for being old because you use two spaces. Like really? right, but here's the thing. Of a thing. Really? Yeah. Here's the thing. That's discriminatory. It's old I use two spaces, two spaces motherfuckers. I'm like, so now I'm overly aware of it. And even when I'm typing on my laptop, sometimes I'll hit the space bar twice in hopes. <laughs> like, you ever do that? You hit the but, space bar twice like you would on your phone and a hope a period appears. That's the thing. If you hit space twice on texting, a period appears. Yeah. But on the laptop, it doesn't. And sometimes that's because I'm that's the proper laptop, way of doing it. It appears because it's a proper way of doing it. But here's the thing. There are some things like when I upload any of our stuff to YouTube or anything, two spaces on most anything looks weird. When it formats onto YouTube or iTunes or anything, it looks like you hit the tab and you like paragraphed everything over. So I only do one space when it comes to that. Because I notice just how it's reformatted to that specific thing. But when I'm typing... It's two spaces after, because that's just what that's what you're taught. Like that's like it's the American punctuality. Everything I've understood, it's changed. The English the, language dictionary changed. of all time says that. I don't know what the hell it is, but I'm hyper aware of it now because everything I've read has said that it is now changed from two to one. Did not. And so when that. I type, I'm who, very who said that? Just smart Google it. People. There's a bunch like, of well, people. You can Google anything nowadays. Like, did Webster's say that? Did um, I can't remember. Like, I don't use Google. I use DuckDuckGo. 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 DuckDuckGo is the way to. It's it's the best thing because it doesn't use all of Google's weird algorithms and things that place certain things at a certain level. Like if you're trying to type something Here that's really interesting, or awful, it, it's I, I'm serious. I actually learned it from uh, the Joe Rogan podcast. He said he uses DuckDuckGo for specific reasons, and. Google places certain things at the top of searches that they want you to see where DuckDuckGo yeah, yeah. doesn't have any of that. Nothing is put in your, your cookies. Nothing is traced to you. It's completely like clean. Let's search for DuckDuckGo really in Google and see what happens. Ooh. <laughs> Not formatted. Oh, it, it, it's, it bolds it. It's up top. Mm-hmm. It's all in one specific like DuckDuckGo.com. Mm-hmm. But when you All look for certain things and privacy you solution, do a Google search Google. and then do the same search for DuckDuckGo, and you'll find oh. things that Google decides we're going to place this first because that's our agenda. This is it's not, it's not their agenda. They pay that company oh, yeah, pays money for yeah. it to show first. PP, yes, people pay money. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't do all that. Shit. It gives it's you the same thing with Amazon. Like if you were a shit. no, but Amazon, like they obviously have their recommended products. They show first in everything. Yeah. Right. Because like it's stuff. the same thing with Google. They make money by wow. having your stuff show first. It's a business. I don't like that. My I wife has a Samsung play. phone. Duck, I have an Duck, iPhone. Goose without the her, whole phone OSE. her phone listens to her. We'll have a conversation. And she'll be like, hey, this just popped up on my phone. And it was a conversation, a recommendation for a product. We had a conversation about 15 minutes before. So sometimes if I see your phone lying on the table and she's not there, your I'll say does that too, crazy though? shit. No, my phone doesn't because I turn off the microphone. Are you kidding no, me? No, I set up my phone. 100% your iPhone does. It does not. Not it, it, through the microphone. You have the option to, but I guarantee you, your I'm Instagram, go to your, so go to your settings now. Go to the Instagram feed. Through my general settings. Correct. Mm-hmm. Or like scroll all the way down and go to yep. the Instagram app. Click on that. I bet you your microphone is turned on because you can't post a story without your microphone turned on. It will not allow you to. It listens to you. That's why it shows you in ads. I hate that. Like You're like, oh, I like this pair of Adidas shoes today. Next thing you know, you're scrolling through. You're like, oh, damn, a whole bunch of Adidas shoes. 
because it listens to you. But typically, it's smart. I go through my phone and turn that off. It's smart though because Instagram will not allow you to post a story. They'll allow you to make a post, but not a story, a reel, any of those live, you know, multiple things that you can do without having the microphone enabled. Well, I'm Generation X, and I don't know how to post a story, so. <laughs> It. <laughs> you didn't even know that your iPhone still listens to you unless you completely turn off that mic on every individual app. There's not like a, a on and off for right. the all apps for every right. individual app. It listens to you. Right. So all Samsung phones do like all phones will do this now. That's tech. Well, even if I post a picture on Instagram, you've got the option of selecting ha having Instagram have access to all your photos or just select photos that you choose. And I do the select photos. So when it, Instagram, I choose to post something, it says, you select a photo that you want to post, I've got to go into there, select it, and it doesn't have access to all of my photos. Oh, yeah. Because you see yes. a lot of photos of me farting Dude. for people for 300 pounds. Dude, 3,000 pounds. 3,000 pounds. I mean, would you do that for, all right, would you, here we go, let's play the game with, that Brad likes. No. How much would it take for you to fart? Dollars, so God. How much to pay you to fart? Oh, that you is could, it I video mean, or is it if, audio? If I know that it's paying three thousand a week, I'll start eating some beans and Taco Bell and fart all day long. If it's a guaranteed three thousand a week, that you're not doing. Every human does that. It's a what bottom if? Your, what if you're okay. putting your ass into a camera? Like your the camera is boom right on your ass as you're doing it. Or have much of an ass silent. to talk about. Better or, yet, what if, <laughs> what if it says three thousand a week, but you need to fart in your girlfriend's face? Ooh. No, I'm not. Come on, that no, because then that that goes to the generation you were talking about. That here's like, Mister Protection. Gonna, just, here's Mister Protection. I, I, right? No, but I'm not. No, because, but doing it in a. a and the reason I ask is because I saw a TikTok of it. I'm like, that's f***ing weird. There we go. Here we I go. actually no, I'm not have this. That on the oh. list of just random things to bring up farting slash burping in front of your significant other. Well, at, at a certain point you can't avoid it. Like in like the honeymoon stage, or if you're living apart from each other, you can avoid it and you can pretend like nobody does these bodily functions. Now, some people may do them more than others, but I've only recently other. after probably going on 10 years with my wife, have within the past several years started burping loudly farting no i'll do everything what? in my power to be like mm, get it out you know they have the silent farts there's the, the loud rips violent, violent. and what for some reason my brother and i from the time we were kids called them london farts the silent ones i don't know why we called them london farts maybe because they were polite but the silent that's one. Deep. So when you're deep. next to your significant other and it's like, oh man, I gotta let one rip. Oh, you try to like yeah. get at the point where it's silent, but I still do not. After why don't you just warn her years, that's occurring and step away or give her a heads up? Stop like cover her nose, mouth, and she's dude. Late. I commend you. <laughs> I don't do it. I commend you. There's no All way in hell. Now, but no, that's how I was brought up. I'll do it just to see a reaction. No, I can't do it. Can't we got it. a little off topic. Uh, we did. A smidge. So I, I, I never thought the periods were a thing. So like I never found offense to that. Thank you and for not commenting welcome. on my periods. It wasn't. It wasn't until like, I really, <laughs> periods have been a huge, crucial part of my life. <laughs> <laughs> I got two kids that'll prove that point. How yeah, but for you, they're eras. Periods can be. They're eras, not periods for you. Eras. I got a pair of socks for my birthday, or no, for Christmas that was Bob Ross, and it says Bob. "Happy Little Mistakes" on it. Where you're like, "Oh, it's just Happy Little Mistakes." I'm like, "Oh, here, this these socks represent my two kids. Happy Little Mistakes." I was a mistake. Is that wrong to say that that your kid was a mistake and it was an error? Yeah, I don't know. Does it? Well, well, like if you no. knew your parents were like, yeah, you weren't planned, would that make you feel bad? I don't think we can correlate that no. being a mistake to mistaking a period in a text. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. That was like that the, seems yeah, a far fetch. That's, that's all wordplay. But but no, as long as like that child is still in existence and you didn't neglect the mistake, you're fine. Right. Yeah. Yeah. As long as the child true. knows it's loved and had like a great 
childhood, you're fine. Yeah. Right, good. I, I, I would subscribe to that, Phil. They, they call oopsie babies. Like, yeah, they're oopses. What generation but... is that? Every? It's, it's an every, every generation. It is. <laughs> it really Oops. is. I... <sighs> you know what I miss in terms of texting is Blackberries. Oh, Blackberries were great for the, this is going to sound like a 40s like infomercial. Blackberries were great for the working man. Hmm. Or woman. Ooh. It was anybody that worked and you had to send emails or respond quickly. Blackberries were fantastic. Yeah. I loved my, the, because you had a work Blackberry for a while, right? Dude, I had a flip phone work phone, Nokia. Ooh. Love it. And a Blackberry, yes. Uh, the Blackberry that I had before we got work iPhones, loved it. I was I sad that that went away because I loved I like the typing, the keyboard, the yeah. raised buttons. I was, yes, yep. I'm right there with you. Because I, I type with my thumb, my left thumb, and my right index finger. That's how I type for oh, some reason. Yeah, I don't do that. And with the iPhone, it just, it's, I'm constantly going back and erasing letters, and the autocorrect is like, I don't even know what the f you're trying to type, dude. You always it's look so like you don't know what the f doing on an iphone yeah. anytime i would see you text i'd be like oh my god it's like yeah, a I letter know. per minute with you it's just like that's because i'm erasing because i'm ahead of it but it's just like no i don't know what this is i'm like back 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 it's horrible what happened to black bear i know when that whole nokia not nokia but GameStop stock thing happened the yeah. blackberry stock was a part of it so i'd bought in for a few, few shares of it and then sold when it was up a little bit, not when it was at its peak. But whatever happened to BlackBerry in general? I'm assuming they're still making technology for the out. world. By who? Do you know? Probably AT&T. The company leverages artificial intelligence and machine learning to deliver solutions in the areas of cyber security, safety, and data privacy. So essentially, a whole Skynet. Paragraph. So they're still oh, they're headquartered in Canada. It's they're, they're a Canadian nice. company. I don't know that. That's so Fairfax bought them out. Who's Fairfax? What do they do? Canadian Mounties use Blackberry still, apparently. Oh, there's still phones out there. There's Blackberry surfaces and phones. Like the Surface is selling for Microsoft <sighs> Duo. You can get that for one thousand and ninety nine dollars. Blackberry Classic, Blackberry sixteen gig. On Amazon, Verizon Wireless, three hundred twenty-nine dollars and ninety-nine cents. Boys, would you buy one? If they brought back the classic BlackBerry, yes, you could buy it on Amazon right now if you have Ooh. Verizon. Ooh, boy! A classic one, like an old one. Yes, yeah, sixteen gig. That's what, it's it's the one the one that I'm uh, seeing right here. Hold on, the one that I'm seeing right here on Amazon is I'm pretty it, sure the last one that I had at work. Well, actually, no, this one has like colors and pictures, so maybe not. Yeah, there's no way. Because I wouldn't be able to do the things I need to do in my phone now, too. I wouldn't get the earthquake alerts just that alone. Oh, I'm sure you can. Stock trading, it's, and that's huge. It seems no. like it's a part of. It'd be so much more difficult that <laughs> the apps can't. Because you're not used to it now. Like yeah. a- a- Apple changed the way that we do everything now. Yeah. Well, it would be like you having to. Trade Touch in your screen. flat screen TV for a box TV and trying to get Hulu or Netflix. And then you have to get adapters for like HDMI yeah, to hook up your Fire Stick or Roku. And shit. It'd just be a whole big it's, ordeal. It's just it's worth having a smartphone. Screen. It's all square. All square. It's all squished. And how do you get emojis on a Blackberry? Do they have them? Do the good old semicolon and. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> or the, uh, that's true. Yep. That's true. That's it. Are, are are you guys big emoji typers? Now I am. Now that I was called a dick and a douche for texting weird, <laughs> I try to incorporate it all the time, just so like, oh, he's smiling on this conversation or this sentence. I have the yeah. Everybody has a few go tos. Like if you look at the, you pull up your emojis when you type in a text, and the first things that come up are your history. And you could sort of mm, see what yeah. history is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what's the what would you say each of your emojis that you send the most is? I've got the laughing one and then I've got the wide eyed stare like what the f are the two big ones. And then every hand gesture, thumbs up, middle finger are all you're, dark, dark. You're brown. a you're a big thumbs up person. Like uh, 
just because it's the dark brown one. I like to promote racial equality. Yeah, yes. There you go with my emojis. So I only I use the dark brown. What do you think? Well, you guys already know the answer to this. The most, the, the number one emoji that I use is. The hang, hang loose. Yeah, hang yeah. loose. Yeah. I, I send yellow I, version. I send gifts. I'm going Simpson Simpson style. Simpson style, yeah. yeah. What about people who talk with text? abbreviations mm. lol and BRB. i don't talk in text i'm i have not joined that yet omg you oh, I, though I won't say it you're a part of the abbreviated word who crowd. me yeah and the, the biggest the one that is that for some reason irks the hell to me is convo <laughs> i don't know what it is but convo at our previous job started at a certain time i never heard it up until a certain point then it really? became a thing, and then it spread. Just like Phil said before, when you hang out with somebody and the mannerisms start to pick up, that word started to pick up at a certain time on our previous job, and then everybody started to use it. I had a combo with somebody. It's such a long word. And I've never heard it up until that point, but now everybody uses it. I thought combo was a very, like, convo everybody was a very, knew that. Like, a right there with uh, LOL and Totes. OMG. It was up there in that it. realm. I just use that Ted GIF for everything. Yeah, that's the, I love it. Yeah. That's the best. That's another way to talk through text. That is a very yeah. it could be applied to GIF or GIF. anything. Oh, yeah, GIF. I, I, that's a good topic. I say GIF. Do GIF. you really? I don't know. I don't I GIF did not me. expect that. So me too. I'm a GIF person. I say it as GIF because I think of it as it's a gift that I'm sending you a picture moving image of something. Not like in the pretentious way, but like that I responded to it more than just words. I am trying to think of how to do that and putting more thought into it by sending a picture video that correlates more with what you just said well, or a response to that. So I think of it as is, a gift. And that's why it's I a graphics it. interchange format. So g graphics GIF. It's not graphics <laughs> interchange format. <laughs> it's graphics. Hard G. I don't know. So but hard again, going, your GIF. He also thinks Jurassic Park is real. So he does. That comes up every pod, too. It still oh. disappears. And then we talk, <laughs> we remind him that he believes every in Jurassic pod. Park. And I love, I, I hate it because I love Jurassic Park. One of my favorite, <laughs> that's like, that's fine. I love it. Absolutely when you get eaten love by a dinosaur. Back. I'm going to be like, bro, I, told I you, would, that's what I, I will would say at your never, funeral. I would be I will more, be oh my second God, up to yes, speak please. at your funeral. And I'd be like, this mother told me it wasn't real. Serves you right, bitch. I'll um, see you in ten. Years. I I will eat my words, and he will eat me, or she will eat me, if that if that actually happens, because that would be uh, that is one way that I would want to die. Do you ever have those moments on your phone when you're texting, and it's about like a fraction of a second behind when you're typing, and you're like, "What the f- is happening here?" Yeah. No, because I think my phone that I can't clear. Oh, it's the it's a service that you're on. Sometimes it just lags there's a great need for everything to be instantaneous if something lags for a second you're like what the f- is going on mm-hmm. now 100 percent. i just went out and i have a brand new netgear nighthawk router sitting here currently that's your it's a good beer phil that's why i just poured myself one second up show the can you yeah. anticipate me yeah it's fantastic very, from bewegians love it very 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 good um, but I just bought a night, uh, my second Netgear Nighthawk wireless router, one of like the better home routers out there. Literally the exact it's same good. as what I currently have. You but bought was, it or they provided it to you? Who's they? Well, who's your internet? Oh, I, don't let, I don't let Spectrum provide it to me. Really? Oh, you could oh, get your own? 100%. So what happens to the one that Spectrum provides you? You don't have to tell. You don't 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 check the box or don't tell them you want that one. So I just want the modem. I had no idea. Oh my god! Wow, I didn't. I had no Do clue. Blackberry does not tell you these things. No, they don't. What the hell? Yeah. So you have your own. But I was doing a lot of router research. Say that five times fast. This past week, and it, you're supposed to replace your router every three to five years okay now i'm on year about five and i've been seeing these dips and while spectrum i don't think is the best 
there come there came them. a point last week where I'm like, mm, it may not be them. So I started to do, you know, this, and I went on, bought a router, the literally the exact same that's currently in my home now, but it's still sitting in the box with Saran wrap on because I didn't know that you can download a Nighthawk app that Netgear provides you. And they suggest you be on the 2.4 gigahertz opposed to the 5 for yeah. some smart thing. Did not know that. Since I'd done that, I'm like, oh, it's working just fine. Maybe I don't. Because I had things split, right? Because all like... Right. You have the 2 something and you have the 5 something. Right. But. I had it split because I thought like, okay, only ring cameras and home security systems and that sort of thing needs to be on 2.4. And then your... TVs, Apple TVs, Xboxes, Google Chromecast, so on and so forth can be on the five. But apparently that's not necessarily the way it works. It's not good for about location. Yeah. Well, my, it's, it's centralized in the house. I just don't know enough about it. So it's sitting in the box and I'm like, do I just replace it yet? Or do I just wait and return it or wait till it actually craps out? When like, it craps well, out, I call Spectrum and say, hey. My no, stuff sucks, and they come out and they go, man, you're saying it's ancient. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. They upgrade it. Waste of time. Waste of time. I didn't realize that they had to, they were doing a bunch of stuff that was a service outage. They had just upgraded a service, but hadn't been doing that service, that they had to send an update to the box, which they had not done. So now I'm getting a percentage off my bill because they didn't do it, which is why I don't rely on them. Hey, Phil. Hey girl. Do you, um, in terms of your hair maintenance, condition, shampoo, nothing? No, both. Every time you take a shower, you no, shampoo no, no. and condition? No, not every time. If you do that, it damages your hair. So I try to do it at least either once or twice a week because it, otherwise it gets greasy, gets oily. So you got to make sure to maintain it properly. So most days you just, wet it and you're out of the shower no some of those don't even wet it oh interesting yeah. you just gotta tie it up and take a shower hmm. i don't know why i was curious about that oh. and on that sure. note we will end the laid off lads podcast <laughs> number 11 i condition my eyebrows every day just to be just so you know see that's get weird them. do you know why though for some reason if i if i don't I'll notice like a little flake up here. I'm like, what the f- is happening here? I got a little, little something in my eyebrow. But if I'd I rather condition a them flake every day, I would rather perfect. a flake in my eyebrow than going to bed knowing I condition my Conditioned eyebrows. My eyebrows. I condition my hair every day. What gen is he again? X. That says it all right there. Yep. You've listened to the Laid Off Lads podcast, episode number 11. Thank you for tuning in. As uh, as we've said on previous pods, and if you don't know by now, you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and YouTube. We're available on all those platforms. Usually you can get a new episode every Monday uh, about 5 o'clock. So look out on all your devices for that. We, uh, again, thank you all so, so much for listening, subscribing, sending comments, and still supporting us in this very small endeavor that we look forward to every week and are excited to do. And hopefully um, you look for a little bit of an hour, half an hour worth of entertainment each week on your drive homes, in your car, in your ears, doing whatever. So thank you all very much. There were no periods whatsoever in that sentence. No periods. No periods. Do you gentlemen have anything else besides conditioning your eyebrows and adding periods to your texts? Do you guys use semicolons or colons uh, more? Or commas? I don't semicolons? need to get on topic of your colonoscopies. Dot, dot, dot. All right. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Mm-hmm. Here. <laughs> Period. Asshole. Thanks for listening to the Laid Off Lads podcast. And if you're hiring, well, you know where to find us. 